I hope you're feeling positive because this is the Introvert Positron, and welcome back to another episode of the Nostalgia Nexus, where we are playing The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and we are doing a three heart run. So no collecting heart containers for me. Let's head off into the world. Um, well, not the world yet. We're getting there. We we, we are definitely getting there. But uh, first, we got a temple to do, and that is the incorrect direction. That is the correct direction. Um, it's so weird, because this is the first Zelda game I've played since I beat Breath of the Wild, so it's weird to not have the same kind of freedom here. I don't actually dislike it in perhaps the way that uh, that many would in terms of going back and forth between them, because they're just two very different styles. Like I get something very different out of this game than I do for Breath of the Wild, and that's not a bad thing. Um, you know, one game just can't, like, be everything that I want it to be because that's not... Well, I mean, it is possible, but, it, like, I'm not somebody who's... who people are just going to design games for because I don't represent everybody. I represent me, and that's just what it is, right? So, unfortunately, a game made for me won't appeal to everybody. <laughs> hmm. So, it's the Ordanian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Don't you know it's dangerous to wander around the woods at night without a light? And I gave you a lantern, guy. Why don't you use it? It's kind of rough around here lately, so be careful, okay? There's so many monsters now, I had to close the gate to the temple. But uh, you, you want to go back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. Thank you. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, I have a special bottle um, for 100 rupees, I actually do want that, but uh, not right now. Let's see if I can get some rupees. Rupees! Grass die! I need to cut it shorter, it's not short enough. Yeah. Um, it's too bad on that front. I'm just not gonna get that yet, I guess. Um, I will be coming back for that, uh, for that, though, because that's actually a bottle. Hey, where do you think you're going? We still have an important errand at the temple deep in the woods. Oh, sorry, that's the way out. I even have a map. I even have a map and I can't figure out where I'm going! Um, I'm not overly concerned about this. Yeah, no, this is correct. And then the gate over here, which I now have the key to unlock. Thank you. There we go. We're going to pass by them later, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it would be preferable if I could get it. But, I mean, if it's not an option, it's not an option. Okay. Yeah, it's like, even with three hearts, like, a quarter heart damage is not really enough for me to care that much about it. Um, and thankfully I don't have to worry about stuff like exploring caves and stuff, because most of the caves are where you get um, heart pieces. I mean, I will occasionally just get rupees, because uh, there's so many rupees in this game, but it's still a good thing to do. Okay, I, I was clearly standing there when I lit my lantern. Yes, monkey, yes! Swing that lantern, let's go! Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot. While you were staring off at the dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Yes, yes, let's go. I've, uh, fallen into the fog way too many times there. <laughs> Yeah, you just can't, like, go ahead of the monkey, because if you go ahead of the monkey, then, um, you'll get swallowed up in the fog. I guess the idea is just that you get lost, although it's a little bit weird that you get lost, and then you end up back, fainted, at the entrance to the fog. And hello, chest. Okay, let's go. Ah. 
Yeah, and eventually we're gonna face some enemies. Like that cute. Yes, uncover the rupee. Give me money, monkey. That's what you're here for, right? You're a money monkey. Okay. I just need how long this takes. That's the only thing I wish that it was a little bit better about was just like not taking forever in these things. Um, one of the things I wish was in the series later that popped up in Breath of the Wild was like cryptic puzzles and stuff. There is not enough of, that, of those kinds of puzzles in these games. Uh, like Korok Forest is an awesome puzzle. Not Korok Forest, The Lost Woods. Um, and of course I'm not going to give away the solution because I didn't even solve that on camera, which was a mistake. Um, I should have showed off that kind of stuff, but um, still, I, I don't feel like it was a mistake. Uh, yeah, the annoying part is I've like died here because of uh, the fact that there's just a little bit of fog left. Yeah, I know. I'm right here. We're f we're through the fog. You don't need to worry anymore. Now give me back my empty lantern. Yes, I knew it was gonna be empty. I know this part because it annoys me every single time. Do 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 do. You got the lantern. You got the lantern back. It ran out of oil while you were following that monkey around. Yay! Horse thieves, lantern thieves, oil thieves. I mean, wh what kind of world is this? Hi. Thank you for your sacrifice. Yep, it's gonna do that every single time we restart the game. Um, and we're also actually no, we are gonna do bugs. Bugs make sense to do just because it's a good way to get uh, money in the game. Like it's a really easy way to just make money, and they're easy to get. Um, and you get better better wallets by doing it, so it's like it's worth doing. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy stuff. Uh, I should be able to scoop with my lantern. Uh, I will put a little bit of money in. Because, you know. <laughs> yeah, well I mean, why not, right? Oh, I should definitely put it away. Okay. Hi. Uh, you look, um, pleasant. Okay. We'll be doing all of these too, for sure. I think I just said that a second ago. But yeah, we're definitely going to be doing all these. Okay. White area. My, um, wisps. Hyrule Castle in the background. And, uh, hello! I mean, he looks like an enemy. Ah! Really? A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world is... Uh, Desires? I don't think it said desires. Deserves is probably what it said. If you would, if you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Okay. Hidden skill, ending blow. Yeah, so he teaches you sword skills. And this is like the best part of the game. I love these things. They, they really can spice up combat. Like, you don't have to use them. But in terms of like their uses, they're actually really useful, especially in like some of the tougher combat situations. Enemies that are filled with with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even once stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, L target and press A to leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see finish A appear vividly before your eyes. Now try it on me. Okay. There we 
we go. Done. It's pretty easy to do, but it is actually important. I'm not going to say why it's important, because that's spoilers, but it's important. Um, hmm. That was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill, the ending blow, has been passed on. Woo! Like, I would argue out of, like, everything pre uh, Breath of the Wild that this game has the best combat. Um, I've heard people some, some people say Wind Waker, which I never really understand. Um, and I like Skyward Sword's combat. Like, I think it's inventive. Um, and I enjoy it. I think it adds overall to the game itself. But um, this game has my favorite combat outside of Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild blew it out of the park. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful. Test your courage. And when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that you face, search for the statue that howl for the statues that howl at the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. Okay. Thanks for the tip. I have no idea why you popped up out of nowhere and did that, but you know. Well, I mean, I, I have an idea, but Link doesn't, or Positron doesn't. Again, whatever you want to call them. Uh, okay, perfect. Just enough time to start off this temple. Yeah, I don't even know why they're around because they're just so easy to beat. It's like even swarms of them. You can just use a spin attack and done. Like, there's not really any point to those particular monsters. There we go. In we go. Alright, hopefully the lantern that we have is enough. Um, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes I have in the past in regards to this temple. Hello. Why is it so dark in here? Welcome to the first temple. Woo! Actually, this is awesome. Um, I love, I just love dungeons. <laughs> Even when I already know how to solve them. Now, what's interesting about this room, um, <laughs> Is that it's interesting that it's like the first thing you need to do is very similar to what you need to do in the Force Temple in Ocarina of Time. Um, and it's like, I always remember that because of the fact that it's like this. It's like almost almost an identical setup. Except, of course, you don't have the projectile at the start of the Force Temple in that one because that's the dungeon item. But, um, I don't even know why I went back for that. Um, but it's still like interesting. It, there's a definite parallel between this room and the starting room and and that one and maybe I'm imagining it maybe it was done by accident but it definitely feels like it because it's like you immediately come in and then you have to climb a wall to the right to get up to a chest that has the key to uh, to something you'll need later or just rupees never mind but still it's like it's set up in a similar way okay yeah stab's useful um Okay. Okay. Hello, monkey. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming along. Hey, that monkey that stole the, your lantern. Doesn't it look like he's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Stop, stop with the mo with the noises, with the moves. Stop with the moves. I, I don't need to see them again. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So now we can do stuff in here. Um, we still have time. Hello. Um, I forgot the. I think it's a no. I forget what the particular way of fighting these is. There it is. 
set to getting close. I'm also thinking of Skyward Sword, so I'm trying to like, oh, flip it. So literally just wait. And then boom. I forgot about that, actually. That was by accident. But that's awesome. Okay. Okay, you want me to light a torch? I'm lighting torches. This is what you have caused me to... Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. It's a pretty minor chest from what I remember. Um... What shall you give me this time, I wonder? Could it possibly be a map? You've got the dungeon map. Press side to view the map. Green rooms are ones you've visited. The yellow arrow shows your current location. It's up tilt, down tilt to change floors. Okay. Big room. All right. So now it's gonna, yep. I wonder if I'm supposed to try to cross the rickety bridge. That probably is going to break. And oh no, it's a bigger monkey with something on its head. And has a dark object. A boomerang. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. See you later. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. What's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no. Now we can't go any farther, we might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Perfect. Ah, oh, door number one. Yeah, I noticed that chest. That's one I often miss here, actually, but it is just the compass. Yep. I know, I know. Thank you for the lift. I don't know why that's there. Seems like a very random thing to have. Um, okay. Uh, I want to go this way. Hello, bomb buggy. Yeah, that's all I needed. I don't even need the light anymore, to be honest, because I don't have to worry that much about enemies. And oh, there's something strange over here. What in the world could it be? Oh no! Nightmares Incarnate. Whew! Out at last. Gracious. Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help, thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see? Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. Shall we try searching together for a while, fellow adventurer? You may not think I look like much, but I can be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. Okay, Uku, thank you for um, being here. Um, I'll never, I'll probably never even use Uku, except for like the rare situation where I like run out of lantern oil or something like that. But um, I don't even think that's gonna happen. I could be wrong though. Yes, yes. You're so very scary, Deku Baba. Deku Baba, that's in every single 3D Zelda game. Actually, Breath of the Wild doesn't have Deku Babas. How the one did that happen? Yes, I know. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Okay, let's get across quickly. Um, yeah. In terms of this episode, we don't have a ton more time. But we did have to come in here. Just for this, though. Yay! More keys. I know, the, I know these dungeons way too well. Like, I know almost all of them by heart. I think the only one I wouldn't be able to do with, like, my eyes closed is... Um, is the sky 
dungeon. Because that one's pretty late in the game. And I guess Hyrule Castle and... Anyway, just the very late dungeons. But even then, I still know well enough that I'm like not that worried about doing it. Yes, you are very good at your job. Yeah, we're going in here now. Hello, monkey. Alright. Definitely feels like a trap. Okay. It's a trap. Again, again. Okay. Done. Alright. Nintendo certainly put a lot of, um, detail and attention into monkey butts. <laughs> Thank you for the rupee. I believe there's also a chest in here, so let's just quickly take a look around. I don't think it's a whole lot, but I think there's a chest somewhere right here. Maybe I'm wrong? Ah, no, there it is. I knew there was one in here. I remember because I always come here and then I can't get this. So getting it now is not a bad idea. Yeah, I know. Stuff's happening. One monkey? Two monkey. Starting to get the trend yet? I'll give you a clue, there's a lot of monkeys. Okay. Now. We're actually done in here for the moment. Why do I have- oh yeah, that's for like shortcuts and stuff. Don't actually have to go across there, ever. It's just an option. Shorter way than walking around the bridges. Hello, door. Lead me to my destination. Okay, so we're back in the center room now. Um, and they're going to show me something in just a second. And then I think we're going to pretty much end it off there. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to end it off here. Uh, next time we'll continue the dungeon. It's probably going to take one, maybe two more episodes to get through here. Um, if I were to guess, I'd say maybe one, probably two. We'll see what happens. In any case, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel, and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel, or you can always just search the channel. There's lots of stuff for people, playlists, and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again, have a great day, and remember to keep positive.